Hey there, YouTubers. Right, so I had a viewer ask about the RGB lighting for the Gigabyte UDZ490, how I was controlling it. And, uh, you know, honestly, I was just taking the defaults. Um, I am not that huge into uh, setting up the lighting, but uh, sometimes I do. Some of my cases, I've specifically set them to a certain color. Now, in this case, um, I thought, you know what, this is a good chance to go uh, look into this because this motherboard most likely will uh, get a new owner here shortly. And so I want to be able to, you know, ensure that the RAM, maybe the motherboard, graphics card, whatever, are uh, set to a uh, lighting scheme that they, they will like. So how do we do that? Well, in the case of the Gigabyte UDZ490, we search for it. And we see here, gigabyte.com. Here's the link for it. Now, uh, not this support, but this one, which is uh, matches up with the, the motherboard itself. We click on that, and you'll see a bunch of different things. So hopefully you have verified that your RAM is compatible. Okay, so first thing, uh, before you even buy it, you should check on the support list. And check this memory support list. This will pull up a list and you can see if your RAM's on there. Same with SSDs and things like that. Now back to downloads. So to control your RGB, you'll want to go to Utility and download RGB Fusion. Okay. Now this is an updated version. As of July 21st, they added add your favorite color. So it's amazing that it didn't originally have that, right? You'll click over here to download, okay? And that's gonna uh, bring a zip file onto your computer, depending on what you're looking at, whether it's Chrome or Windows Edge, it may do things differently than what I show you here. Show in folder. This is where you would, uh, you would unzip this, okay? By right mouse clicking, extract all. That'll create this folder here. And then, boom, you will install it, okay? So once it's installed, you'll see uh, over here this program. And we'll bring that up. Now, once it's up, if you want to have it on your taskbar like I do, you would right mouse click and uh, mine says unpin, but you would pin to taskbar, okay? So if you have... Um, peripherals that can be controlled by the motherboard and have RGB uh, lighting, things like that, that are plugged into your motherboard with these four pin connectors. This is where you would change that, okay? So I can't show you that example because I don't have any, but uh, you can come over here and then, you know, select a uh, color scheme if you have it plugged in. Since nothing's plugged in, it's not letting me do anything, okay? You can create different defaults, all right? You can add a default, so uh, it doesn't let you name it, it looks like, which is a bummer, but uh, you can at least have different defaults. So maybe, you know, you have a couple kids using the same computer. They might want to have different color scheme. Maybe uh, you and your wife or your, you and your husband or you and your partner are using it. One person likes blue, one likes red, whatever, you know, so you can change that while you're using it. If you happen to have a, a cool graphics card that has RGB in it, um, you can change that here. And that's pretty simple to do just by uh, clicking and hitting apply. Now, I'll save all this stuff for the lighting when we get to or the uh, RAM, because that's what we're going to do the demo on. So the final thing is, if you bought some cool RAM, uh, like hopefully you can see, let's make sure the webcam's still working. And it looks like it is. So right now it's on the, uh, the default, so it's changing colors. Um, I can click on static, and you should see... Um, I'm going to bring this up just so I can just make sure I see what's going on. So because we're uh, using a, I'll call it cheap webcam to do this, um, I'm not necessarily sure that you can see the colors as good 
as I could. Yeah, so we may be a little too close. Um, so it looks white, but if you look at the, the light that it's giving off, um, you can see that it is actually changing colors, okay? So now you see red. If I change that to green, and we see green, okay? So, there's other things on here you can do. Um, I can click on Pulse, and you can see that uh, it is flashing, basically, right? Well, pulsing, I should say. There's flash. So you see what's going on there. Uh, color cycle. Now this is kind of cool. If you wanted to change, let's say you have a favorite team. Um, let's say that you have a favorite team, which just so happens to be all these colors. <laughs> You know, I was hoping that I would be able to change these individually, but uh, it looks like that is not the case, folks. So you're basically stuck with these colors. All right, so if you want the color cycle, that's what you're going to get, all these different colors going through. Default is uh, goes through a bunch of different colors, and then you can just turn it off if it's driving you nuts, uh, which it may drive some people nuts. So... I like static personally. I don't like that color. I like blue myself. So that's what we would do with that. But uh, that's, you know, pretty much all there is to it. Um, it's disappointing that, uh, you know, we have some control. Huh. So, if you want to actually change a single cell, and it appears they're broken into five, I just I just found this out myself, and you really can't see that that well. Um, let's change half of these to green, and maybe you'll maybe you'll be able to see this if I can find my mouse. So hopefully you can see that, right? There's the green tint, blue tint. So you have the ability to control um, in the static mode. You could set one of these to green and one to red if you had like a save your favorite football team. Uh, I don't think there's any teams that are blue and green, but blue and red, maybe you like the Giants, the Bills, um, red, white, and blue. You know, you could do that in here as well. And so that's kind of a neat thing. Now, the thing that was disappointing, though, was uh, the color change. Uh, it doesn't let you uh, change the values individually. But uh, there you go, folks. Um, that's all I have for this video. I hope you got something out of it. Pretty simple to use. Definitely play around with it. You'll probably discover some stuff that uh, yours truly missed and uh, all that stuff, but thank you.